a week away traveling around Wales from rivers to sea fishing to trout fishing to meeting up with the one and only that's a bite to cooking some amazing food sightseeing around mid and north wales loads of other stuff sit back relax and enjoy this is our week away in wales Hold on tight, John. So a different fishing video today, people. We're here for a few nights in mid Wales. Uh, I haven't been out for a bit. I did go out with my boy the other day and pumped some worms. We went to land on her, but uh, didn't have much success to be fair. Beautiful sunsets so. though. This is where we are tonight. Well, on the next night, we're gonna be doing a bit of fishing. Around here, and cooking some stuff there. You'll be seeing that. Got a little river down here, which, uh, it's definitely got trout in. I'm going to be doing a bit of a tour around Mid Wales. We're going to end the video with some catfish fishing uh, in about three or four days time. You'll see it all in this video. It's all in this video. That is like the cream of the crop and that is like bath water. It's that warm. Now you've got the river there. Some trout in that right there. But uh, yeah, me and Sarah are here and uh, I don't know if you could ask for a better location for a hot tub to be fair. Ever. We'll come up here now. The river, you get to the river down these steps. Got a bit of a deep um, eddy around the back wall there, and just there there's a little bit of a dam where it drops, you've got another deep bit. But uh, yeah. Looking good. So, I'm gonna cook some food. Speak to you all in a bit. Before we got to the pod, we had a little sightseeing tour on the way. We stopped at a few places in and around Mid Wales. This little harbour here was beautiful. I forgot what it's called. We seen some of the old trains, some of the old engines, and it was really, really smart to have a look around there. Then we called in Barmouth. My first ever time going to Barmouth, and what a beautiful place with beautiful beaches. We also come across a few fishing trips don't know who they are but definitely i'd recommend checking them out if you're in and around the area then we come across this old silly sausage big old celsig <laughs> then we had a look around lake bala i was amazed to see the pure size and volume of water that this lake held it took us about 15 minutes to drive from one side to the other we called in the tackle shop on the way back and i saw some pictures on the wall pike to 37 pound perch to five pound big trout but anyway, it was time to light the fire, cook some good food and get in that hot tub. I'll see you all tomorrow. So I've just come to eat stead fat. Let's do a bit of fly fishing for trout, see if I can get one. I've come and had a look at the carp lake. This is the older carp lake now, they've got a new one. But well, I have caught the biggest fish in this lake. Uh, a year or two ago in winter, middle of winter, actually in a Christmas jumper. Special like this is me and the lads have had a lot of socials here and between us I think we've caught every fish in the lake. I've even had the two twenties, the big linear, and the one with one eye that they call I think they call it Nelson. I've had the big girls from it and that's why I stopped fishing it. But uh it's an amazing place this. Lovely area for some food and that. Food inside. Yeah, we're gonna go over to the trout lake and I'm gonna try get something out on this. Wish me luck. If you like this type of stuff Please don't forget to subscribe, it really is appreciated.
time though, isn't it? Yeah. We could take these home, but we're not going to. This out anyway. There you go. Make sure you got this back. Beautiful in the water, aren't they? Well, we'd have been eating well, wouldn't we? Yeah. But we're definitely going back. Oh, Whoa! There's an hole in the net. He'll find his own way, he will now. There he goes. He's gone. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh no, quick, he's going to... Yeah, yeah, oh, yes. It's a nice one, that. Could be fish of the day. Definitely could be fish of the day, that. Unfortunately, my battery went when we was trout fishing, but we caught a load, to be fair. Um, it was really, really good fun. We must have had 10 or 15 between us. Um, we just couldn't go wrong with flicking the fly out, getting it right, and I was hitting it. We had to make a change to the fly at first. We had a big black one on, and they weren't touching it. So we trimmed it down a bit, made it a bit smaller. It had like a little orange tip on, so we made the fly smaller, and then that was it then. We couldn't go wrong. Um, that was fun. All right, stay with me, because we're at a different accommodation now, and I'm going to show you. We've got Patheli Beach there. We've got Treffer Pier just over there, and I've just picked up a load of bait from the tackle shop in Crickiff. Beautiful tackle shop. Um, the guy who runs it seemed absolutely amazing. Um, good to have a chat with you. Um, I'll definitely be calling in that tackle shop again when I'm that way. But yeah, we're here for the night now. So I'll have, show you a quick look around now. But um, we're gonna be doing some sea fishing. And later on at the end of this video, when we're back in Anglesey, we're gonna get on the catfish as well. So. You've been spoiled in this video, people. Game fishing, coarse fishing, sea fishing, fly fishing, catfish. You're having it all. So, yeah, I'll show you quickly this little shepherd's hut that we're in now. The views. Just look at that. Aspen Valley Beach. Right there. And the guy who's... Um, who's farmer on in this um, pod, uh, he just told me when he walked along the Valley Beach yesterday... White bait was everywhere and the mackerel was in by the millions. And I've just brought six mackerel as well, for God's sake. Lovely decking area there. You've got your pod here, you've got a separate building up there, which is your toilets, your shower, your cooking and everything. This is special. As I say, that's Buffelli Beach there. This is really special. Extremely special, this one. Look at that for a view. Wow. That's like... This is like the view when you wake up. Really special. Oh, get it up, it's nearly over. Um, yeah. Diving with sharks. Scrap box in the scrap box. Oh. Interesting. Hi. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> but yeah, this is uh, the view cells they've done it. Definitely gonna get some fishing done tonight or tomorrow, so you'll be coming with me. You've got this big window there. The views, the views on their own. So I'll show you the bathroom and stuff in a minute. But... It's a place, isn't it? A little washing line look. Apparently smalls on. <laughs> I like that. Alright, Jill. Farmers just come out 
it's just given us this fresh milk, fresh from the cow, pretty much I think, obviously it's been pasteurized, sterilized, whatever you have to call it. It's all right. Perfect. Well, yeah, it's a, uh... hi, chill. And I'm a little Raven, really, Lily, really, I call the chill. It just, it just looks more of a chill. Yeah. This will definitely do. Right, next time you see me, I'll be on my way to doing some fishing. It could be tonight, it could be tomorrow. But for now, I'm logging off. Catch up with you soon. Right, we just got to Trevor. Trevor, 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 whatever you want to call it. And I promise you, this is not a setup. That's Mike's car from That's a Bite. I've just had a walk up and he's fishing there because he's working on an house up there. So it's a totally random chance. And I think it's the first time we've both fished it. And he's here, Mike is, but he's not caught nothing yet. So we're gonna try and uh, go and sneak one from next to him then get on our way. Apologies for the really poor audio. The wind was absolutely howling in and you couldn't hear a thing Mike said, but it went a little something like this. Here, standing in front of me now, is Gamekeeper John. He's the best fisherman on YouTube. He could stand up the top of that hill right up there and still catch more fish than me from the pier because he's that good. It sometimes makes me get a bit angry and a bit but you know, I get that hot, I have to hold my hat on, but um, he really is that good and there's nothing I can do about it. Literally nothing I can do about it. I take my hat off to him. He's the best. Oh, let me put my hat away. I often blank, you know, sort of once, twice, three, four times, but I've got a plan and uh, well, come with me. This is my crab pot. Now I'm gonna see if I can catch something in it. I, I normally catch a few crabs in the other hardback and the little, um, you know, the little, nippy little wrigglers but um let's just have a look what we've got in the net surely we've got to have something ah it's a pollock anyway let me get this net back in because if i can catch four more of them i can have five fish fingers on a sandwich tonight but on a serious note mike was just telling me about how windy it was and uh i didn't even bother setting up it was just gonna get worse and worse all night so fair play mike for sticking it out and giving it a go and if you haven't already get over to mike's channel that's a bite and give him a sub well that was totally unexpected honestly didn't plan to meet mike there he's got a job on up the road um and he was there but we never even fished the winds 40 mile an hour gusts and getting worse all night and then to top it off mike's been fishing for about three hours and uh, he's not had a bite if he was catching fish i'd have probably have stayed but i'm gonna have a little drive into Pfeli, 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 and um have a little look around and see what's there maybe not fishing but i'll show you some stuff there um so yeah i don't know what you heard when i was filming up there because it was pretty bad but yeah we're onwards and outwards <laughs> off to the next place so now it's the day after we're back in anglesey it's 25 to 2 i'm just stopped at the gazelle have a quick pint and grab a coffee and uh we're at the gazelle and while i'm here i've got the bait in the car i didn't use last night so back off to my caravan soon we're going to fish butte maris in another few hours but and I've literally one drink here and I'm going to send a full mackerel out for just 20 minutes just to just because I'm here so this is literally one cast maybe two casts we have a quick drink see if anything happens hmm we're going to set the uh bivvy up and that on the catfish lake tonight as well and we're going to be fishing here Maris so there's a lot going on I'm definitely going to sling a full mackerel out there just because I'm here for 20 minutes what happens happens if i eat a snack or anything happens i'm packing up it's literally a one cast chance of this from what i'm here so wish me luck so the rig this is the most simplest stuff in the book we've just got a runner we've got their mackerel good mackerel as well plenty of blood in their mackerel which is what i like it smells fresh fishy even though it's frozen that was from the bait shop in crickeef on a running rig plenty of wrap around the end there just to keep it all in place so that's going to be blowing on the bottom um gonna 
We've literally just set the tripod up there. We've walked to the edge of that ramp, send it as far as I can, put it on the rest, and then we've got one cast, maybe two casts, see if it can happen. See if we can catch a sneaky one which was unplanned on the way to the next venue. only tripod I'll use ever again is the iPod because it is the best tripod I've ever used. See if anything will happen, we've got probably 15-20 minutes here. Just imagine if it went. Just never know dear, just never know. Well that's it, it was only one cast. The car's packed back up now. Dogs have had a drink, but what I wanted to show you what we found. This is called sea glass, we found all that along this little beach here. We only here 20 minutes, had one cast. But uh, it's basically just old glass that's been, you know, brushed around by the surf and rounded off. And there's a lot of people like, well, especially the kids that are making jewelry, gems, rings and stuff. My daughter's made a load. Sometimes you get the old messages on it and stuff. And if you look online on eBay, on Amazon and on websites, some of the jewelry, people are having these on little pendants and that and on rings. And they're actually like selling for quite a lot of money. And we collected them. Um, hey, who knows, you might see some gang keeper John jewellery soon. <laughs> but you can get some really colourful stuff. There was a red one somewhere. Damn, where is it? There was a red one. See it somewhere. You get all different colours and they put them on uh, rings and stuff. There was a red one. I know it's here somewhere. There it is. <laughs> uh, yeah, nice little haul. So anybody who's after a bit of that old sea glass, get yourself the gazelle. As normal, in a Gamekeeper John video, uh, Bew Maris didn't happen, we was gonna go and fish there, as you can see. The wind is horrendous. It's absolutely pummeling down, we got the brolly up. Uh, we could not fish out on the point in Bew Maris. Um, it's pretty ruthless here. And this is covered behind trees, where we've got a bank behind us, and the, out on the coast is absolutely horrendous. Gusts up to 40, 50 mile an hour. So what we've decided to do, is just come and have an hour on the uh, Pleasure Lake, we're on the Catfish Lake tomorrow. Um, Maybe tonight as well, um, and the day after. So we're gonna try and get a big catfish. But for now, we're gonna try and float fish a carp out. Nobody else is mad enough to be out in this, and I don't blame them, but we are. So that's our little camp. That's the problem, we're gonna try and uh, winkle something out. Wish us luck, guys. We've got like half an hour, 45 minutes of fishing, and then um, back to the caravan for some food. Woo! Here we go, here we go. It's a bream. It's a bream. Nice bream. Come on, pull him over. Bream. Well, off to the catfish lake soon. Um, look at them grey hairs now, bloody hell. It's all the stress of trying to catch a fish for this video. Um, we was going to get sea fish in. We was up most of the night with... 45, 50 mile an hour winds, um, same this morning. So we didn't actually get to do the um, the sea fishing, but we're just setting up for the catfish lake now. Uh, it looks like we've got the lake to ourselves, and there's some very, very big fish in there. Um, just tying some rigs now at the caravan, getting the stuff ready, uh, cooking some food. We'll be cooking, we're cooking a bit of chicken, tikka, a bit of lamb, some ribs, and I think that's it with some rice, some crusty bread and that. Should go down nice. So I'm gonna get this food down us get to the catfish lake and I'll see you there. Tonight's set up, it's still windy as hell. Fishing two rods. Set up is Shimano TX1 rods. Beastmaster reels loaded up with 25 pound sensor line. Simple running rig onto a buffer bead so the lead slides up and down. It's 40 pound coated. A little bit of um, putty there to pin it down. Size one, quarter crank hook, three Scopex squid boilies on. It's gonna be fished just there. The other rod is the left rod there. There's a bit of an hole there, a bit of an hole. That's gonna be fished exactly the same with the same setup. We're just gonna put two boilies on this one. Again, running lead onto a buffer bead. Bosh, 
little bit of putty. I always put my putty closer to the lead because when it drops, the lead drops, then the putty will drop and then it will kick the bait out. Probably looking at around a two foot rig length. Um, it's basically fishing a Spopex squid over a generous handful of that. Got a few freebies in there as well. Probably 50 freebies over it. Let's see if that does the business. I'm going to get the rods in. See what happens. Definitely spending the first night here. If nothing happens, I might end up over that back bit. But uh, see if we can get one out for you. Imagine. <laughs> if it went off the camera, good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Little update the time he's now just gone half eight. Um, there's been a lot of action, no fish, <laughs> a lot of action. The right rod within 10 minutes um, roared off on them free Scopex squid. Lifted up into a big fish and it just smashed me to bits and shot off that way. Uh, there's been some savage line bites and there's been another good run on the right rod. Uh, we've only been fishing for a couple of hours, so um, it's looking good. And away. Uh, you can leave that torch on, but he's definitely not the biggest one here, but that is an absolute monster. Well done. <laughs> First catfish, job done after losing one earlier, didn't we, and that? Beautiful fish. I'm gonna get him straight back, so I'm stressing him. It's gotta be a 20 pound of that. Gotta be all day long. Happy days. I'm gonna turn around again, and it can't help him on his way. There he goes, look. Whew. I've just woke up, some savage line bites going on. Fish are feeding all over the swim, catfish. Just got to learn not to um, not to be a bit too feisty and lift it up. That rod is There's fish all over the swim. Catfish feeding that'll be almost certainly fishing about there. Nice fish just went off now, wouldn't it? It's definitely feeding all over me though. Just the one catfish last night, around 20 pound and a couple lost before that. But, oh, I don't think it's going to be long till that rod absolutely disappears to be fair. Well not disappears, <laughs> until, <laughs> until it just burns off. What's that? a catfish. Them lilies are all moving. A lot of fish on the move here. Something's gonna go. Oh no. Here we go. <laughs> Hold on tight, John. Enjoy the ride. Come on. Come on, man. That was a powerful fish then. Power this is. Oh no. Is it that rod? Don't let go, Johnny.
Let's get the net. Uh, the That's a good fish, that one. Let's do it. I don't know who's got to do here. too big actually which is ideal because we should get them in. Got him. He's wiggling. Don't want to come up there. Probably just over 20, mid 20 ish. Beautiful fish, yeah? Happy with him. Quite girthy. <laughs> yeah, more than happy with that one. Definitely. So, what's inside the mouse? He's not going to open it now, is he? The pads, that's what they crush the fish on. Like loads of little micro teeth. I get this beauty back. It's probably low 20s, I'd give him. It's not weighed. In between 20 and 23, I'd say. It's not a monster, but he ain't a baby either. So after that catfish, um, pulled the rods in. We're coming to have a little look around the village. Menai. So we're going to have a little look around here. Right by the Menai Straits now. So I'm going to show you um, a little look around Menai. Um, nice bit of water here, a nice bridge, there's a tackle shop and whatever else, let's go have a look. for the final night um we've got to be off early in the morning seven eight o'clock something like that we've got to be gone the fish come this morning about 10 11 o'clock so um we're definitely going to miss the morning bite but um yeah chances are out tonight for a good one uh, we're definitely down a lot later than expected i wanted to get back down here about three o'clock in the afternoon but obviously in every gamekeeper john video nothing goes to plan so uh it's literally just getting dark now it's about nine o'clock We've got to be off in, what, I don't know, eight, nine hours. So I'm just hoping that something goes off tonight because I don't really want to be recasting in the night. So, yeah, I'll update you in the morning. But what a week we've had, people. Um, it's been amazing. Um, it has been amazing. So, yeah, hopefully. Well, it doesn't matter what happens now, to be fair. It really, really doesn't matter. I could happily get my head down and go to sleep now and not have a beep from any one of them rods. But there's always a chance that something could happen. 
but I'm really, really, really not bothered if it does or don't because we've had an amazing week. So, yeah, check back to you in the morning. Hopefully, we'll have a 40 pound catfish in between them. <laughs> Let's get out. Come on, get on, get up. Well, this definitely wasn't uh, on the shopping list. A bloody pike. It's a nice pike. I'm not going to film him or get him out. I'm going to try and unlock him in the water and let him go straight off because uh, it's not one. He's giving me some grief as well. But yeah, I'm going to literally unlock him in the water and get him straight back. But it's a nice pike. <laughs> well then, a pike on um, Scopex squid boilies. Um, it was an eventful night last night, but no catfish. Um, about one o'clock this morning, the right rod absolutely screamed off didn't stop picked up to it this catfish just tried to take me up the channel over there up that channel and uh, i just couldn't stop it couldn't stop it tried to slow it down it's just smashed me to pieces um there's nothing i could do tried to play it the best i could the clutch was set and everything it just pff, it was unstoppable that's, <laughs> that's all i can say and about four o'clock this morning the left rod has gone into meltdown took her about 10 or 15 meter line i've lifted up into a fish and that's just up pulled straight away so no fish but very eventful and um that pike then has pretty much just woke me up it's just like beep 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 couple of beeps i pretty much knew what it was um i've unhooked it straight in the water uh, just unhooked it and let it go and that's not come out that's not had any pictures or anything um get that straight back uh got about half an hour of fishing left i'm gonna pack up just got up feel rough can't wait to have a shave, cut my hair and do whatever we've got to do in the shower and that. But it's been a cracking week. And if you like this type of stuff, don't forget to hit that subscribe button because it really has been a bit of an adventure this week. A lovely week away with a bit of fishing mixed in. So um, till next time, stay safe, tight lines, and um, see you in the next video.